Welcome, precious one, to this program that is designed to establish you the Word of God and to cause you to walk in God's supernatural working power. Beloved, 31st night, I came with a prophetic word from the Lord for you, and we started showing that to you last week. I want to bring you the concluding part of this prophetic word and what you must do. It will change your life. Let's go. You will never be the same. Listen to me. See me. Do you know that God says... <laughs> He will give us lands we did not buy. Houses we did not build. 2012 is that year. That you will just walk into things that have already been prepared by the Lord for you. God has already cooked them. And so let me quickly take you through seven things we must do. Seven things we must do. The first thing Esther did was Esther forgave the people who attacked Israel and killed her parents. It means that in 2012, you will not bear any grudges. What is a grudge? A grudge is deep-seated resentment that you have against somebody in 2012 every resentment you have against somebody let it go tell somebody let it go tell another person let it go what better time to make that difficult decision to forgive so that you start a new year in forgiveness lift up your hands and say anybody who has offended me as we close 2011 and we enter 2012 I forgive them I release them from my heart in Jesus name hallelujah amen beloved Esther couldn't have been part of the beauty pungent if she hadn't forgiven the people. She forgave them. Forgive. Tell somebody forgive. Tell another person forgive. The second thing we must do is to be focused and disciplined. Esther's focus was on winning the beauty pungent. That means that you make your eyes single. You will not look in all directions. You, you will concentrate your efforts to what you want to see God do in your life. When light is concentrated, it becomes a laser. And the laser can cut through steel. 2012, may you be like that. In Jesus' name, Esther was disciplined. She had to play according to the rules by undergoing the grooming for one year. She could have said, as for me, I'm beautiful, so I won't do it. She would have failed. She had to be disciplined. Don't be in a haste. Beloved, some of you need an education in 2012. Some of you need to top up your education. Some of you need to get some professional skills. Give time and attention to it. Be disciplined enough. Make time to get what you need to make sure that when the opportunity comes, you would have been prepared. If you can hear me, give me an amen. The third thing Esther did, and we must do, she was diligent. 
She was diligent. True diligence runs contrary to human nature. nature normally wants instant gratification. We want as much as we can get and as fast as we can get it. We don't want to put in effort. But diligence is a persistent and hard-working effort in doing something. Listen to me. I said diligence. I didn't just say hard work. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Because hard work alone does not profit. In, a, in Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 15. It says the labor of the foolish. Wearieth every one of them. Because he know not, he knows not how to go to the city. The, 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 the foolish is also laboring but it brings no profit so it's not just hard work it is smart working tell somebody smart working tell somebody else not hard work alone but smart working you see digging the ground with a spoon is not smart Digging the ground with a spoon. Cutting a tree with a knife. So It's not smart. But if you want to cut a tree and you get a chainsaw, we say you are diligent. Amen. 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 To flow this place. So recently we had to increase the width here by six inches. Concrete. And they did it in four days. They did it in four days. They didn't use a head pan. Because to concrete a floor like this between Monday and Sunday so that there can be church service, you, you, you need diligence. So they needed concrete mixes. Many wheelbarrows to get it done. Beloved, to be diligent means to be meticulous. And it means it is about doing the doing it right and, it's a and, and doing, doing it in time now we are the one and to the highest standards as possible now be to me i said yeah you know my will be able to media to 2012 your life should not be put on good with your good meaning in a cock and send chrome and that's our more bread here in 2012 and film premier you are going for excellence oh call me the beer somebody i'm going for excellence oh quack quack or yet you pay beloved anyone can be diligent if you're in a bit of memory in Proverbs 20, verse 11, he says, Even a child is known by his doings. Even a child can be diligent because diligent people always win. In Proverbs 12, verse 24, the Bible says, The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the lazy shall be under tribute. 2012 may that be your story in Jesus name number four Esther had to learn to live with the other contestants 2012 is our election year you have to learn to be able to co coexist with your political opponents. Because this is our election year, 2012. Romans 12, 18 says, If it be possible, as much as lies in you, live peaceably with all men. 2012, you will be at peace. You might belong to different political parties, but you are not going to fight. You are not going to kill one another. You are not going to hurt one another because of party politics. We are going to live together as one nation. Lift up your hands and say yes. In Romans chapter 14. And verse 19. 
The Bible says, let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace. And things wherewith one may edify another. We should pursue peace with all men. May that be our story. The fifth thing we have to do is to trust our helper. And they say, Oh, hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says in Esther chapter 2, verse 15. It says, Now, when the turn of Esther, the daughter of Abihel, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her for his daughter, was come to go in unto the king. She required nothing but what Hagar, the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the women appointed. Esther was held by the king's chamberlain. In 2012, the Holy Spirit will be your help. You, you didn't hear me. I said in 2012, the Holy Spirit will be your help. You will not be alone in your business. You will not be alone in your education. You will not be alone in your ministry. You will not not be alone. The Holy Spirit will be your help. Tell somebody the Holy Spirit will be your help. Tell another person the Holy Spirit will be your help. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And if the Lord helps you, who can stop you? If God be for us, then who can be against us? I came to tell somebody that God is for us. Tell your neighbor God is for me. Tell another person God is for me. He will be my helper. Number six. It means that you will be willing to give. When there was the need for Esther to give herself. Otherwise, the Jews will be killed. She gave herself. I mean, anybody who came before the king. Before he had sent for her. If the king didn't say, hold on, let her come. She dies. But no. Esther had to give herself. In 2012, mm -hmm. let it be your year of giving. Mm -hmm. Let it be your year of seed mm -hmm. sowing. Mm -hmm. But first of all, give yourself mm -hmm. to God. Mm -hmm. Tell somebody, give yourself to God. Mm -hmm. Tell another person, give yourself mm -hmm. to God. In 2012, give yourself to God. In 2012, give your tithes to God. Tell somebody give your tithes to God. Tithes is 10% of your income. 10% of all your increase. In 2012, support the work of God. Tell somebody support the work of God. Tell another person support the work of God. Number seven and yeah. the last thing we yeah. must do. In 2012, we must pray in the spirit. We must pray in the spirit. It should be a year of great prayer. Because when God says something will happen in your life. Paul said to Timothy. He said, Timothy, what a good warfare. With the prophecies that came over you. 2012 is our year of divine manifestation. You have to pray through till you break through. You remember the story of Perez. Okay, Perez, that's not. Zara brought out his hand first. But he drew back his hand. And Perez jumped out. You can miss what God has prepared for you. You remember Judas? Okay, Judas. On the day, on the day Jesus ascended to heaven. And Peter and Co met. Peter said, Peter can say. It has been written what you say? that the bishopric of Judas, said, Judas in let another take. 2012, nobody will take what belongs to you. 
you didn't hear me. Wanti. I said 2012. Nobody, Nobody will take what belongs to you. What belongs to you will come to you. What belongs to you will be your portion. In Jesus' name. May you not lose what belongs to you. Where people couldn't go. You will go. What people couldn't receive, you will receive. Where doors were shut, it will open unto you. 2012 is your year. Bow down your head. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord said to me, There is somebody who will be sitting in the service tonight. You feel like things are being pulled out of your skin. You feel like they are pulling the things out of your skin. It makes it difficult to sleep. Stand on your feet. Put one hand on your forehead. Let me pray for you quickly. Lord, you reveal to redeem. I call forth their healing right now. In Jesus' name. Benish. There is somebody Benish by name. The Lord did not tell me what you are suffering from. But the Lord said to me, He's healing you. If you are Benish, stand and put your hand on your forehead. Let me pray for you. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your healing power. In Jesus' name, I give you praise. I give you glory. Louisa. There is somebody called Louisa. And the Lord said for me to tell you that you are receiving victory in your marriage. There is somebody who came from Tema for a prophetic word. Specifically, you are coming from Tema. The Lord will have you know you are entering your season of a new beginning. The things of the past are over. Something new is happening in your life. Where is that person coming from Tema? Yes, God richly bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There is a dentist and the Lord said to me you have a problem in your back and he's healing you there is an accuracy here God didn't show me the particular accuracy but he said to tell you that in 2012 you are getting three major contracts and so receive it in Jesus name there is somebody who came here tonight with a cancer and God's healing power is touching you that cancer is dying at the roots there is somebody with a back pain also being healed and there is a hernia also that is being healed tonight lift up your hands and just love the Lord right now just love the Lord. Just they're love ready, him. Just ready. love don't him know, right don't now. Know, don't know, don't know. Just love him. Don't know. Put your hands down. If you have any growth whatsoever, lift up your hand and receive your healing right now. Any growth. Any growth whatsoever. Heavenly Father, you said you are you will be healing groves of all types tonight. Do that in the lives of your people. In Jesus' name, lift up your hands and just celebrate the Lord. Somebody. That is somebody Sefa by name. It is your, the Lord will have you know it's your season of a double portion. And whilst the Lord was showing and staring, saying those things to me, Suddenly, I saw in the room, in this auditorium, I just saw it raining inside the auditorium. Raining inside the auditorium. And the Lord said to me, There is the sound of abundance of God's rain. It's rain of favor. It's rain of blessing. Receive yours in Jesus' name. And the Lord said to me, 15 people tonight are 
receiving children from the month of January 15 eight people have applied for scholarships to Europe. Eight people are receiving those scholarships. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You want to stand? You heard the word of God. And you want to pray with the word that you have heard. You want to pray with the word that you have heard. That the word of God will be your portion. Anybody who has offended you this coming year, ah, you want to talk to God that you are not entering the new year with hats, with grudges, everything that belongs to you in the coming year, may that be your portion. Open your mouth. Talk to God. Talk to God. That sickness that easily besets you, it should not be your portion. In 2012, open your mouth. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Every limitation in your life should not happen in 2012. 2012, there should be a change. In 2012, there should be a change. Open your mouth. Talk to God. There should be a change. In 2012, there should be a change. There should be a change. There should be a change. 2012 is your year. Open your mouth. Talk to God. Open your mouth. Talk to God. Talk to Him. Talk to Him. Open your mouth. Talk to God. Talk to Him. Yeah. Talk to God. Talk to God. Open your mouth. Talk to Him. Talk to Him. 2012 is your year. Whatever God has prepared for you should be your portion. Whatever God has prepared for you, whatever God has prepared for you, should be your portion. Whatever God has prepared for you, should be your portion. In Jesus' name, open your mouth. Talk to God. Talk to God. Yes. Power of the Holy Ghost. Talk to God. Talk to Him. Yes. Talk to Him. You want to lift your hands and you want to start thanking God for what you have received in 2012. Everything that belongs to you, claim it now. Thank Him for your victory. Thank Him for your breakthrough. Thank Him for your manifestation. Uh, thank Him. Thank him for the favor. Thank him for the open door. Thank him for making you step out. He's making you step out. Thank him. 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 Thank him, 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 Shout your shout of victory. Shout your shout of victory. Shout 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 Precious one, I hope you've been blessed by this program. 
But beloved, if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, pray this prayer with me. Say, Dear God, forgive me all my sins. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Let me love and serve you all the days of my life. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Precious one, I want to specially invite you to our church service on Sunday. Every Sunday, we have two services. The first is 6 to 8.30. The second is 8.30 to 11. Join us. We have a youth service from 6 to 8, 8 to 10.30. And then we have a friend service from 8.30 to 10.30. And then 11 to 1. If you are sick in any part of your body, lay your hand where you are hurting. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I ask your hand upon your people. Satan, break loose your hold over God's property. Lose these dear people. Let them go free. I ask that you be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Your eye be healed. Your ear be healed. Your back be healed. Be made every way told. In Jesus' name, I call it done. Amen. Favor, promotion, healing, signs and wonders. From the 4th of January to the 5th of February 2012, the Red Miracle Church International Jewelry Branch invites you to a month of fasting and prayer. Time 5 p.m. each night from Monday to Friday. Venue the Perez, Red Miracle Church International Jewelry Junction. Come and let's pray through to break through. Red Miracle Church Scholarship Scheme Application for awards of scholarship to senior high school students. As part of her social responsibilities, the Word Miracle Church Scholarship Scheme seeks to assist brilliant but needy potential senior high school students to pursue high school education. The basic qualification for the scholarship is the completion of junior high school with excellent grades, but because of lack of financial resources, are unable to further your education to the senior high school level. Students currently in the senior high school who are finding it difficult to pay their fees can also apply. The scholarship is only applicable for students entering or in public high schools. The scholarship award covers tuition fees, boarding and lodging, and any other billable items. Closing date for the submission of application forms is on 1st March 2012. A photocopy of BEC results and two endorsed passport size pictures should be attached to the application forms. Application forms can be obtained from the branches of the Word Miracle Church International and mailed to the Secretary, WMCI Scholarship Scheme, P.O. Box CT2340, Accra. In your